goes to teras one, we have a drilling. When we drill that, uh, when we reach the depth uh, 10 meters, we lose lots of water circulation, like 32,000 liters, and still flowing. So we stop the drilling. So that indicates there's a chamber in it. Yeah? So we dig that, that echo two strands, but we dig only to a uh, depth of four. We couldn't reach that 10 meters just too deep. We, we uh, asked to stop. But in this echo two trend showing that artificial wall of unit three. So the unit three structures is like the unit two, it's a man-made structures, but it's very, very weathered with that uh, excavation uh, weathering. Yeah? And we also found an artifact like this one. There's a sharp tool mark. That means the builders has the sharp tools. Yeah? <clears throat> So also on the, the same location, just a few meters away, uh, there is a, also unit three, but it's in the boulder rocks. And here we find the Kujang stones. It's buried under the soil field, three meter soil field. And we date that soil field, it's like 10,000 years old. So this Kujang stone, at least 10,000 years old or older. The Kujang stone has a very unique rocks. It's, not, it's different from the other rocks surrounding them. And it's porous but very heavy because it has uh, metals, uh, nodules, uh, nodules metals distributed around it on the stones. And the shape also is very unique. And uh, the measurement also is uh, like matching the, like a P number. And if you pour water on it, there's a bubble that's coming from that. So it's just like uh, showing uh, like a special properties of the stone. So this is a very inter interesting artifact. Okay, <laughs> again. <laughs> and also in this terrace five, we have uh, the deepest trench uh, up to 11 meter. And we found this also interesting rock. We call it the rolling stone because uh, inside that there's a black stone that you can move it like that. It's rolling. So it's interesting. So we decided to take it up. So we uh, take the shack and put it on the shack and pull it up. But when it hit the ground and we open it, the opening disappeared. Seriously, it's disappeared. And the local people got very scared. And I got like, very, want to know whether the, the black stone is still inside, but they said, you have to bake my head first before you bake that stone. So out of respect, I put it back. Here's more artifact. Uh, that, that big artifact looks like a columnar rock, but it's bent sharply. So it, it's not happened in nature. And there are lots of uh, their tool marks. Now, we move to the cord reeling. We have like seven cord drilling from 15 to 35 meter depth. Here's one, one of the examples of the core logs showing the, uh, the layers, unit one on the surface, and then unit two, about two to three meters, and unit three, uh, five to 15, uh, 15 to 20 meters, and unit four is the natural rocks. It's a basaltic andesite uh, uh, lava. So we can correlate the unit rocks throughout the drilling. Yeah. So from the surface down to 20 to 30 meters, all stuck by uh, my man. Unit four is a natural rock. It's a massive basaltic andesite. Okay, now move to the geophysical exploration. <clears throat> Let's start the GPR. The GPR used the electromagnetic waves. Uh, <coughs> We use many frequency, many antennas. So the higher frequency has a higher resolution, but shallower. And the lower frequency has a lower resolution, but can get deeper. So we use for this antenna. You might not have been able to attend this year, but if you want to see all of the footage from Cosmic Summit 2025, including the entire lecture that you just watched a clip from, and what you can do, is click the link in the description and get access to all 60 plus hours of content for $50.
And if you even want to trial it out beforehand, we're giving you free access to see one of the lectures by giving us your email address. So click the link in the description and get immersed with Cosmic Summit 2025 content.